Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and tonight we're on the red carpet for a wonderful organization supporting a wonderful cause. It's the Point Foundation Gala honoring two of my favorites, Jeffrey Tambor and Jonathan Groff. We'll be bringing you interviews with the Golden Globe winner himself, as well as Judith Light, Brad Goreski, the cast of HBO's Looking, and more. So get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. I've got the OK, ready to go sign from Golden Globe winner Jeffrey Tambor, right. and hopefully soon to be Emmy winner, man. You're unbelievable. Oh, on this thank show you. Transparent. Thank you. You know, I used to come here when I was a young actor. I lived in Brooklyn, and this is where I would hang between auditions and upstairs. Now, and now you're being honored on the yeah. red carpet here yes. by an organization as fabulous as the Point Foundation. You know, tonight, tonight is really, uh, really important. Um, um, I'm getting the Courage Award, but I think all the courage really goes to the young students. And we're here to raise money, uh, to promote education, and um, you know, it's very, it's very important. This role and this show, I was talking to Judith about it, it's become a beacon for LGBT rights and wow. the way people have responded yeah, thank you. is incredible. Talk to me about being part of a project that has such a powerful and exceptional message. Well, um, I always, when I, uh, I talk about the, Jill Soloway, I always thank her for the, the gift, but also the responsibility of Mora. Uh, and um, my acting teacher used to say, when you act, you act to act as if your life depends on it. But now I get to act because other lives depend on it. And so underneath the comedy and underneath all the, all the Pfefferman stuff, there's a very serious message here. And it's about freedom. And it's about, um, it's about the coolest job I've ever had. You've been doing this for a long time. When you too get a long. role like this, too long. it's Is that never what you're too saying? long. Oh, okay. no. right. but I, and I've loved so much of what you've been in. But when you get a role like this, it just can change things overnight. Talk to me about that. For, for an actor who's, who's, who's had a great career, getting a role like this. These roles change? don't come along in a lifetime, let alone 70 years old. People just say, oh, did you walk the floors? Did you fret? I went, are you kidding? I threw myself at Jill. I, I knew the opportunity. I love Mora. I love, I love the, uh, the family aspect of this. Um, it's, it's big. People are responding to, to this in a, a real personal way, and people are coming up to me and they're thanking me, and they're, they're sharing it with their family and their friends, and so uh, it's bigger than me right at this moment. Your co-star Jeffrey Tambor is being honored. You're presenting something here tonight. Awesome, right? I know it's really an extraordinary event. This organization is something that I've been on the on the board of and involved with almost since its inception, and I feel very proud of it. And I look at this tonight and I say, How did all of this happen from this little tiny start that we had? It's quite remarkable. Your show and we've talked about this in our last interview, has been such a beacon for LGBT rights. When you see organizations like Point and the impact they're having in a time where we need that impact to be made, talk to me about that impact and what more needs to be done right now. Well, I think you're seeing it. I think you're seeing what's happening within the body of the transgender uh, organization and the movement and people talking about it. And I think Transparent is one of those beacons that is happening right now so that people are really beginning to pay attention. I think the most important thing that we can do in this country is to recognize when we are bigoted and when we are relating to someone else as the other and we hold our own views as more important than our generosity towards someone else and their community. And I think this is what this moment is about. And I'm so proud to be part of Transparent because I think we're, we're helping to make a difference in the world in a very big way. This organization is doing such amazing work. Talk to me about being here to support the work they're doing. I mean, it's huge, you know, and, and for us, it's, you know, it's it's a small thing to be here and to support uh, 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 this incredible foundation that raises money for LGBT youth and for them to become the future leaders of America. It's very important, and we need that. Your show has been one of the great beacons for LGBT rights and, and, and very unique and pioneering in its way with that. Talk to me about being part of that because it supports a wonderful message. 
Thank you, first of all. Um, yeah, I mean, that was, uh, that was something that really inspired all of us in, in the beginning because we knew that that was the direction that the show was going in. And we knew that with the, you know, the creative people that we had at the, the wheel that it would be something very kind of sensitive and subtle and, uh, but still kind of be something that could hopefully sort of push some boundaries and, and uh, yeah, I don't know, just uh, tell some great stories about people that happen to be, you know, LGBT, but it, it wasn't, it didn't have to be sort of some big song and dance. It was just something that was going to be very real and authentic and, and unfiltered. It was one of my favorite fashion people in the world, and you look gorgeous as always, Brad Thanks. Gretzky. You're here supporting an incredible organization. Everything the Point Foundation is doing for LGBT rights and children is incredible. Talk to me about being here to support this organization. You know, I um, uh, am a, a, obviously a big supporter of um, the LGBT community. They've been so supportive of me, and I think what the Point Foundation does is so incredible. And I literally just got off a plane and uh, rushed here, and uh, I thought if I could be here and, and squeak in and, and support the organization, then the right place to be tonight so I'm really excited to be a part of the evening. When you see the people being honored especially Jeffrey Tambor and shows like Transparent and what they're doing in a time that things need to be done talk to me about when we see media it's really helping it's got to be great and you're one of the as you mentioned one of the forefront people doing it. I um, you know I love that show so much I thought it was brilliant he was incredible and I, I think it's so important you know to show um, our community and it, and its fullest you know that and embracing the trans community and uh, all that that he has has done on that show in in a, in a really great uh, depiction I think and and with so much heart and and he's so incredible and I'm a huge fan of Jonathan Groff I uh, remember seeing him in Spring Awakening with Leah Michelle and uh, I've kind of been in love with him ever since so I'm excited about that how incredible is it to be supporting this awesome organization it's amazing I mean I wish that I had an ounce of the bravery and courage that these scholars and students and alumni have at the Point Foundation. The fact I can't imagine like being in high school or being college age and being out. I came I didn't come out till I was 23, so I'm blown away by these by these stories.